Hello, you stick here to do my review of the new Adventure Force Arsenal pack. This is, of course, a recoloring and re-offering of the original Arsenal pack, which had a bolt-action rifle and a top prime pistol that I lovingly called the Busby Toys Model 1902, based off of the uh, imprint that's in it that says BBT 1902. So, forever it was called the Busby Model 1902. Except my coins. Now, I gave a pretty glowing review of the pistol, and I also did enjoy the rifle. It's not necessarily going to cater to a lot of people's taste, being bolt action, but it's still a fun blaster. Now, the big thing, and the selling point of this, is that what's included in your purchase price of just under $20. Yeah, yes, it is just under $20. Keep that in mind when we go over this. You get the pistol, the rifle, the scope, three magazines, and 25 darts. $20. Keep that in mind as I go over this review. Now, that's a lot. And each of these magazines have the little tabs on them. As I will show you here, you can take the tabs Line it up, look at the uh, the orientation of the dart, and I do that so I can make the two magazines face the same way. Interlock it, click it in, and now they stick together. You can do that and add on. These three are all eight round magazines and do work in both of the blasters that are included here, as well as the competitions, as long as they uh, accept standard size magazines. like. For instance, some X-Shot models don't accept other brands' magazines. But yes, this will fit in Nerf. Nerf magazines will fit in these. No problems. I'm going to start out with my personal favorite, the 1902. Simply slide that back. This is, again, a top prime spring-powered magazine-fed pistol. Just prime it back and then fire. Prime it back and fire. I've got my target over there. And when you're done, take that, flip it around, line it back up in, make sure it's home, and keep firing away. That's the 1902. Now, to use the rifle, again, this is a bolt action. So open up, pull back, magazine in, Make sure it's home, close it, and fire away. Very fun. Very fun blasters. I love the bolt action, flipping it up, pull it back, and go into it. There's all eight shots fired there. But it's simple to use. This is your traditional bolt action. You pull back and you can exchange magazines that way. Or if the magazine's full, slide forward, pull the trigger to fire. Easy to use. And especially for younger users, these tend to uh, really, really go over well. Everybody loves the bolt action for fun. Like, be, be honest with yourself. Don't get into being all serious. Bolt action is fun. It's just, just especially when you're a kid, just thinking about it. Now, the stock on this is short, as you can see. I'm really choked up, but this is designed for a smaller user. Now, I have no problem using it. I just tend to not do that unless I'm trying to remain in frame here on the camera. That does help. The little scope is actually quite nice. It does have uh, actual crosshairs. Let me try to line that up with my lens. See there. You can actually, if I circle it around enough, you can catch a glimpse of the crosshairs. One of my favorite little pieces for uh, blasters, it does have crosshairs in there. There's no magnification effect, of course. And it does work on any Busby rail. And Busby did actually make an adapter that effectively looks like a riser and allows Busby to go on to Nerf and Nerf onto Busby. Get your hands on one of those. It's sold in the Predator package. Get your hands on one of those and you can use this on Nerf. Or or vice versa. But I actually have slid it on here. 
this tends to be a, a favorite blaster to hand off as a loner. Now, the pistol is of course my favorite. Absolutely, 100%. It's so easy to use. You know, it affects every mag. And it's my very familiar top prime. I, I am a top prime fan. I do like that. The grip on this is comfortable. The grip on the pistol grip is actually very chunky, very comfortable. Ergonomically, this thing is very nice. Uh, the trigger pull is very clean. It's crisp, has a good return spring. The top handle has a good texture to it. It's got enough grip there, but not enough to dig into your hand. It's just not, not slippery at all. Magwell, very nice, easy to use for everybody to flip the magazine, stick in. It, it does accept Nerf drums, and so does the rifle as well. So, I went through showing you how to use it, told you everything that comes in it. What about the performance? Now, this one is actually a little bit underperforming compared to my previous one. I was getting around 80 or a little higher feet per second with the previous Model 1902. I'm getting 77 with this one. I have a nagging suspicion that it's not properly lubricated on the O-ring seal on the plunger head. That's internal. Easy to fix, but should have been, should have been properly lubed. I can hear it is why I can kind of judge it. And being someone who mods blasters, I can tell just basically by experience on a Busby blaster, if I am hearing friction, then it, that's what it is. I would, I would suspect if I pulled it apart and lubricated it, this thing would probably get the expected 80 to 85 or like its cousin, the Busby Revolution, that thing hits all the way up to 90 stock. This is sitting right at 77. And the uh, rifle is actually hitting at 76 average feet per second. Not bad. That is basically a uh, updated magazine-fed version of a Predator, or if you wanted to, a reshell of the Walking Dead series Andrea's rifle, which, again, hits in around the mid-70s. So, very consistent performance on the rifle, exactly as I expected, mid-70s. A little under the previous generation, which was the green version of the Model 1902. Again, I'm going to suspect that it needed a little more lubricant on the O-ring. Uh, that's not giving an excuse. I'm just giving you the reason. Can I still recommend it? Absolutely. 77 feet per second. 76 feet per second on the rifle. You get three magazines that all feature the interlocking tabs so that you can make it into, as companies like to call, the flip clip. But these are magazines. They have a spring-powered follower that pushes the darts up, that's a magazine. But they all interlock. Three eight rounders, no little itty bitty six rounders like Nerf does. 25 darts, two blasters, $20. Keep in mind, not even counting the darts, not even counting the magazines, that's $10 per blaster. $10 per blaster. This alone is worth the twenty dollars. With the three, if you did count the three magazines, like if there was a if there was a kit they sold that was this, three magazines, the whole bunch of darts, I'd one hundred percent buy it at twenty dollars. One hundred percent. This itself with the three magazines and all the darts would be worth twenty dollars. The rifle, whether you're a fan of it or not, I am, and I, a lot of people who I've had try this, especially younger kids, love this thing. So, therefore, it's it's an absolute win to go ahead and go grab this. Especially if you're going to set up to play, like, as a family of four, you go grab two of these. You have two arsenal packs, you got the two rifles, the two pistols, three magazines each, so six magazines total. Then go pick up some extra darts. You're looking at one heck of a deal. And I'm really liking the color scheme on this. Uh, I'm going to make a personal note. The blue on the top prime slide and here in the middle should have been black. Should have been black. That would be a Busby color, you know. Just do full yellow and black with the orange tip, of course. But do full yellow and black. That would have been fantastic. But I can't complain. It still looks good with the blue, yellow, and black. It meshes well. And the rifle. The red and blue looks nice. The orange barrel... I wish it was just more of an orange tip if they would do like a gray, a dark gray all along, but I, I get why they don't. 
personal opinions, but they could have went with a nice dark gray all the way up to here, and then an orange tip. That would still meet the, the guidelines for the orange tips, and it would look nice. And a, a dark a dark gray bolt as well. Just thoughts. <laughs> but, but I do feel this is a really fun blaster, and this is a very, very, very good blaster. And I thought so in the first release. I still feel that way. Despite it having the 77 feet per second that I got this time instead of the mid-80 performance that I had before. I, again, I bought the Spile Money. I do believe that it's just quite simply this one. Because it's gonna, it has the same in, internal setup as the previous generation. So there's no reason it should be getting lower performance. Other than my specific one probably has that seal issue. Again, 77 feet per second isn't anything to complain about really though because Nerf pistols and full-size rifles still only get 70 feet per second. So it still beats the the standard performance. But I'm going to still give this a 100% thumbs up. This kit is fantastic as a deal, especially for families out there who are looking to outfit blasters for everyone. And if you are a tinkerer, especially this one, there's a lot of potential in there for the future. All it takes is a, a very little bit of work, a little bit of brass, nice spring, and a little bit of your time. But overall, fantastic deal for basically all levels of fans of dart blasting. But this is Mongus Jake with my review of the Adventure Force Arsenal Pack made by Busby Toys, available exclusively at Walmart and Walmart.com. I'll, I'll put a link in the description of this video, so if you want to go find your own, it'll help you out. But I hope you enjoyed watching this, and thanks.